We respectfully request the Sangha great virtues for the sake of this assembly and all living beings. Please turn the wonderful Dharma wheel to teach and guide us how to end birth and death leave suffering and attain bliss, and quickly realize non-birth. Homage to the blessed noble and perfectly enlightened one. Namo Sadanto Sucedo Ye Elahudi San Mio San Puto Sye. Namo Darakta to Yadaya Alahade Tamio Tambo Datoa. The unsurpassed, profound, subtle, and wonderful Dharma, a hundred thousand billion aeons, is difficult to encounter. Now that I'm able to see and hear, I will receive and maintain it. I vow to fathom that thus come one's true and actual principles. Wu shang sheng sheng wei miao fa ba hi qian wan jie nan zao yu wo jin jian wen de shou chu yen jie ru lai chen shi yi A Buddhist and Bodhisattvas, Venerable Six Patriarch, Venerable Xinhua, Venerable Left Home People, and all good no advisors of me to Chufu Pusa Liu Tzu Shifu Shangren Gowei Chu Charan Gowei Shang Chu Shu Mi To Fo. Chi Phật Bồ Tát Kinh Thư Hòa Thượng Lục Tổ Hòa Thượng Tiên Hoa Quý Thư Cảnh Cô và Quý Thư Cảnh Chí Thức A Di Đà Phật. Hello everyone, thank you for coming. Today is the 6th of November 2021. We are uh, gathered here to continue uh, discussing the Six Patriarch Sutra, that uh, wonderful Chinese invention, uh, Chinese wisdom, uh, uh, that, uh, uh, that uh, uh, the late great Master Xuanhua uh, brought to our country. So it's uh, indeed a pleasure to be able to re-examine this Dharma here. Uh, this is, it's a wonderful Dharma here with all of you. Look, thank you for coming. Uh, so we talked about the third Chinese patriarch, Master Sun San. Sun okay. uh, San, and uh, he's, the, uh, he's, uh, he's a descendant of Master Hui Ge. Uh, and uh, so last week we talked about the fact the Bodhidharma taught Hui Ge and I feel that uh, Venerable Great Master Hika is a uh, is a uh, reach a pretty pretty high level, considering that he uh, he got there by kneeling behind uh, Great Master Bodhidharma for nine months, nine years, and then and then uh, it's not clear how long he was with Master Bodhidharma before Bodhidharma returned to uh, India. Thank you very much. Mm. And uh, so it's pretty, pretty impressive. Thank you. Mm. Um, 
So pretty impressive he reached uh, that level of attainment, uh, for, which is mon monumental, because that's the first time that a Chinese native uh, certified to that kind of practical wisdom. So, uh, uh, so it's, uh, it's uh, in good hands. The Dharma is in good hands. So, uh, and then he taught uh, Venerable Sun San. Sun San was uh, he's an invalid. You know, he, he has some serious health issues, uh, like he like near leprosy and so forth. And yet, he another unusual case where he actually chosen as a third patriarch. Okay, and he's and he was the first one. He was who was the first to compose this uh, Chinese poem, Chan poem. Okay, uh, and. Uh, not sure we have uh, that poem, uh, 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 191 here. There are more poems later, but he was the first one to compose it. Uh, and uh, 91, uh, slide number 91, there's 146 lines, a poem of four characters. Okay, let me see. Oh, it has a few here. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, so, Chu Tao Wu Nan Wei uh, look, see. The best way is not difficult. It only excludes picking and choosing. <sighs> the Chinese are not listening. <laughs> the ultimate way. True is ultimate, not best way. Okay. There's no such a thing as the best way. Ultimate way meaning that you go all the way. Okay? It has no judgment there at all. You go all the way. That's what it's meant to do. Okay? It's not an achievement. It's not a big deal. It's just you have this path and you walk all the way. Why do you want to stop in the middle, halfway? Okay? It's meant for us to walk all the way. So it's, that's why it means Chu Tao is ultimate. The old means the end of the path. And the, the elegant word is ultimate way. It's not difficult. It's not difficult because this, this monk here understands. It, it's not something that is artificial that you, uh, that, that is uh, not beyond uh, your daily lives, your normal lives, okay? It includes going to work. <laughs> Why? Why are you laughing? <laughs> huh? Wait, the two of you? <laughs> <laughs> okay, Wei Xian Jian Zhe. He only excludes picking and choosing. Jian Zhe, Jian Zhe, Jian Zhe. Okay, Jian is pick up, right? Zhe is choose, select. Okay, Xian. Uh, what does Xian mean? Come on, come on, help me out. Make sure I don't make a fool of myself. My excuse is I'm not Chinese. <laughs> Exclude. Okay. Uh, Okay, here's what it means. The way, the ultimate way is not difficult. Between parentheses, it is only difficult because you pick and choose. Isn't that beautiful? In just eight Chinese characters, he conveyed 
the meaning of cultivation. You're thinking too much. You're judging too much. You're plotting too much. Okay? Stop. Stop. Uh, okay? What, why, what is jianzhe? Why, why do you, uh, you, you uh, pick and choose? Can you say, I like this, I don't like that, that works for me, that doesn't work for me. Yeah, this, thank you. Oh, God, <laughs> that helped. It makes sense? It doesn't make sense to me. Okay? Uh, so that's out. I go for this. Who's doing that? Your ego. Ego is doing that. Huh? I'm cool. I know. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> I know what I want. So I will pick and choose whatever is good for me. So when you do that, you're reinforcing your ego. It gets bigger and bigger and bigger. And that's not the way. Next. It's beautiful. This is, this is very nice. It, it is, we skip three. It's, oh, oh, yeah, that's one and two. See, one and two right here, and three and four. Okay. Dan Mo. Zen Ai. Dung Ran. Ming Bai. Uh, and it's, this translation is horrible. It's Chinglish. This, this, is, this is a beautiful, beautiful teaching. And the English-speaking people would laugh their heads off at us. If we give them this kind of poem of enlightened person, they say, what? If that's enlightenment, I don't want. Keep it for yourselves. <laughs> okay? It means uh, you only need to not hate or love. You only need to stop hating or loving. How is that? Don't run me by. And will naturally and suddenly become clear. And naturally it will become clear. Naturally we understand. Ming Bai here, I want to preserve the Ming Bai here. Ming Bai here is, is more than understand. It's clear. You're so clear. It's not just understand. Understand has different levels. This clarity here is it's just clear. It gets nothing to understand. It's just clear. Does it help? Are you doing making the changes, Master Xian Jie? Because I, I, you know, I, I speak and I forget. I have a very fragile memory. In other words, do not believe what I tell you because I will ask me tomorrow. I say, what did, did I say that? <laughs> okay. It's beautiful. Okay. The first eight characters are so consistent. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, how li yo cha tin di xian ge xuan ge how li yo cha okay off by a hair breath okay off by hair breath tin di xuan ge what does Xuan mean? Xuan? What does it mean? 
like hanging or I I only know the sui and it's hanging or but the, apparently it's not the meaning here. Suin go. You guys don't know either what Suin mean? Hmm? Hanging. hanging? Yeah, hanging. That's how I remember Suin is hanging. Uh, hanging by, huh? A set apart, okay? Mm. Mm. So what is when in in Chinese? What is xuan? Have what kind of connotation is that? Why do you say? Why do you say heaven and earth are hanging? What 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 is it? What is it alluding to? They're very far, like uh, like the heaven Sui. is like. Like hanging very high. Okay. It's like the very far part, I think. There is, there is danger there. There's a. Um, um, suspense. Sus suspense. Kind of. There is. Oh, you, your English is not helping me. Uh, change it. Heaven and earth are um, precariously, precariously apart. Xuan I'm, here, I'm, I'm, I'm grateful for that concept. Xuan is actually has danger in there. Okay? T and D are supposed to be no separation. Okay? T and D, you look at it, it's no separation. Okay? And they are dangerously, precariously, Separated. You buy that? Okay, okay, think about that. Let's move on. Okay, you to Xian Jian. Mo Zun Shun Yi. Ah, so now it's emphasis. He says that uh, if you wish for it to manifest, okay, whatever it is for it to manifest, then do not, uh, do not retain for or do not do not retain pro or con how's that if you want to see it you say prove it to me show it to me that's what the first four characters if you wish to see it you wish to see a proof so which you see it for your own eyes, with your own eyes, okay? So that's why if you wish it for, for, for it to manifest, okay? Yeah, that's, a, that's a poetic way, a literary way of saying if you wish to see it, you want proof, okay? And then uh, simply do not harbor pro and con or con. Okay, next. I hope we don't go to 146 things. <laughs> uh, it's very challenging. Wei uh, Shun. Xiang Zheng Shi Wei Xin Bing. Okay. 
为顺，第顺逆 ，OK。Pro way is to 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 be contrary, to oppose, OK. To oppose. Yeah, it's it's the same concept as 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 Shun Ni here, okay. But he because he didn't want to、uh, be repetitive, so he he chose a, a different word way, okay. But kept the same Shun here to tell us it's another way to express it, if you will, okay. So he, so uh, um, to. Going along, or uh, 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 wait, uh, opposing, or what's what's uh, what's uh, it, uh, 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 what's another word for shun? Tong, Vietnamese tong. To oppose or opposite of oppose. Shun is to accord.、Uh, accord, okay.、Uh, opposing or、uh, agreeing. Shun is that okay? Shun agree. Whether you oppose or you go along, it's still fighting. Hmm. To oppose or accord with is still fighting. Yes. I saw this. Is more like Wei Shun Xiang Zhen is weighing against、uh, pros and cons. Like Xiang Zhen is、uh, well, is fighting. Yeah, but the fighting is like which、conflict. one is better? This like, conflict. Yeah. The. Why do you have to agree? When you agree with something, aren't you fighting with something else? It's not obvious to you. You agree because you oppose something else. That's what he's saying. He's saying when you agree or you oppose, it's still fighting. Oh, so it doesn't mean it doesn't mean、uh, agree and then opposing, fighting with each other. It means either both of them whether you approve them, or.、Uh, Disapprove.、Okay. It's still fighting.、Oh. Yeah, you, you have a, a mind, a heart of fighting. See, to set long against low thing, I totally missed the point. Right? Xu Wei, Xin Bing. That is. A sickness of the mind. To agree is still a sickness of the mind. <laughs> so yeah, one is agree, the other guy disagrees. Laurel and Hardy. <laughs> one always says, "I disagree, Master. Do you think it's right?" I disagree, and the other guys. Oh, I agree. And they say, "Man, man, man!" 
Isn't that a beautiful poem? Oh God, this is this is so, so so. Chan. Very good. Whether you oppose or agree, it's still fighting. Mm -hmm. Very good. That is the sickness of the mind. That mind is sick. Can we be more blunt? That kind of mind is sickness. That is that kind of mindset is sickness. Hmm? The sickness of the mind is the too too uh, too uh, therapeutic, uh, therapeutic. We are not therapists. Okay. Is there's no a is sickness. That kind of mindset is sickness. It's much stronger than the sickness of the mind. Because he's a, he's a teacher. He's, he's setting his standards. That if you agree, if you disagree, you're sick. Next. Boo. <laughs> Not recognizing the profound doctrine. Okay. Or oh, could say the well profound is good enough here. Uh, it was more like mysterious, but profound here is much more appropriate. Okay, Shuen here is a profound, very difficult to fathom. Okay, Tu Lao, Tu Lao, Nian Jing, Tu Lao, Tu Lao. Tu Lao, Nian Jing. Ah. Uh, okay, tu. Tu is wasted? Okay. Mm. Uh, uh, so, if you, if you don't recognize the profound doctrine, your Nian here is uh, mindfulness. Yeah, I'm trying to, to avoid mindfulness. I'm sorry. I'm I'm not into Hinayana stuff. <laughs> Okay, uh, nian jing. Nian here is uh, is uh, mindfulness. Is true. Nian here is uh, nian jing. So to nian here to recollect. Yes. Okay. Mindfulness or recollect. Okay. Uh, or being mindful of and jing. Okay. To la nian jing. Not if you don't recognize the profound principles. Okay. Uh, you, uh, your uh, nian jing, uh, nian, nian here, uh, if you will, for the mind for the hinayana nian here is to be mindful of the breath. Is a mindful of the four station of mindfulness. To be mindful of the four, uh, uh, the four doctrines of uh, the four noble paths. Okay. The Mahayana is to be mindful of the uh, eight uh, sagely shares, 37 members of Bodhi, and so forth. Okay, that's Nian. Okay, 
you have to be uh, remember mindful of those. Jing, okay. Jing here is to uh, to quiet your mind. Okay, uh, so quiet thoughts is not a bad translation. It's a bad concept. It's pretty good. Okay, uh, not recognizing the profound doctrine, uh, you. Uh, your uh, uh, the uh, thú lão thú is waste right okay lão wasted efforts thú lão is wasted efforts okay nian jing nian jing uh, your uh, quieting your thoughts would be in waste. Would be wasted efforts. Uh, blue. Hey, cái đại thừa mình là. Con thầy ơi dạy con là thấy hai cái một lúc là sắc với không hoạt động với tỉnh cũng là một thôi. Mà trong này tổ nói những cái người có lỗi lầm là họ bỏ động mà chạy tìm tỉnh là nhọc công thôi phải không? Cứ đi tìm cái tỉnh không mà bỏ cái động đó cái động là nó có thể xấu phải bỏ đi tìm cái tỉnh thôi. No. Not that. Translation. Um, so master you taught me that uh um uh, like uh for the marks and the empty or the movement or the stillness it sh should be uh the same should be one but then in this poem is that mean that that people um run away from the movement and then they seek for the stillness that is like wasting of effort you yeah, know it's not at all that's why I like the quiet thing, to quiet the thoughts. That's a good translation. It under, shows understanding. What happened is that at the time, there's really no uh, uh, jargon for Chan. Nowadays, we use different words for this, but back then, he had to refer what he's referring to is Chan. Nian Jing here is to do Chan, to meditate. Okay? And so in order to retain the Chinese flavor, we translate it as to quiet, quieting your thoughts would be wasted. To try to, to, try to quiet your thoughts, you know, quieting your thoughts would be uh, wasted efforts. Yeah, futile. I understand futile, but I want to keep the parallel with, with Tu Lao, I don't want to introduce another thing called futile. I want to say it's efforts here that is, uh, that goes to waste. Okay? Futile could mean that you get near. Okay? The stress here is to waste these efforts, which is, which is very painful for us. Chan practitioners, okay? We work so hard, especially you'll be starting your, your cheese. It's a, it involves a lot of hard work. And if you spend the next 11 weeks and, and, uh, and you don't recognize the profound principles, you have been, would have been wasted efforts, okay? Uh, the stress here is you work hard and it, it goes to waste. Futile has more connotation, it's just wasted efforts. That's why I don't want to use the word futile. All right, continue. Would be wasted efforts. There's no A. I think my, my grammar is better than his.
wasted efforts. It's no waste, there's no A. Because there's a lot of efforts. You efforts, you have to work hard at sleeping less, to eating less, to talking less, and less, 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 all kinds of less things. That's why it's a lot of efforts. Next. Yin Tung Yin Tung Tai Xu Wu Qian Wu Yu How can you translate that? This kind of nonsense. Yuan Tung. Okay. What does Yuan Tung mean? Tung is to penetrate. Yes? To go through. Oh, look at that. It remind me of some kind of cryptocurrency. <laughs> He's starting a third cryptocurrency with a dog Mimi. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that happy. Oh, God, you have to take a photo of that. Yeah, seriously. It's, it's beautiful. Tong. <laughs> okay. Tong means what? Tung ban, huh? Same. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Okay. So, uh, Yin Tung Tai Xu. Okay. Wu Jian Wu Yu. Um. You know, it's great back, 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 uh, uh, the 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 uh, the the empty tai shu is is the emptiness. Okay, tong is the same emptiness. Yuan tong, uh, huh? Wu Jian Wu Yu. Okay, that's fine. Okay, so complete like great emptiness. Okay, complete like great emptiness. Uh, nothing lacking, nothing um, in excess. Okay, very good. Complete like great emptiness with nothing lacking, nothing in excess. Okay, next. Uh, 
，所以不如嗯，良有取舍。I don't understand 良 Help me out. Oh, did I did I correct here? Oh, I did. See, okay, I did make the correction. This on here. See, I've been ignoring this. Complete like great, and it actually is a. When the mind perfected is like great emptiness, lacking in nothing and nothing in excess. Okay. Uh, it's not necessarily perfection. Okay. Okay. Uh, it is true because of grasping, rejecting. Uh-huh. Liang is this true? Is that right? Liang is true. So he buru. Hmm. <sighs> true or good? You choose. Ah, okay, it's true. It's it's because of grasping and rejecting that you are not one with uh, true suchness. Okay. I settle with that. So, um, meaning that don't reject, don't grasp either. Seventeen, uh, uh, Do not pursue the condition. Do not dwell in the patience and emptiness. Okay, which means the patience of non-production. This is he's referring to the patience of non-production. But back then, the vocabulary is not there, so the patience and emptiness. I think that my my translation is okay. I'm sorry. The furrow should be chasing after. It's not. It's not far. Where? Zhu. Zhu. Wu Zhu. Zhu is. Zui Zui Zhu. Yeah. Not, it's not furrow. Furrow. It's pursue. To it's pursue. pursue. Yeah. It's to pursue. Yeah. To chase after. Do not, you know, pursue is more literary than chase after. Furrow conditions is okay, right? Is it? Uh, Sui Yuan is different. Oh, Sui is not foral condition. Yeah, this is Zhu. Zhu is to pursue. Yeah, but foral conditions is. Uh, Sui Yuan is 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 is, uh, is proper. I mean, you you follow your accord right. with conditions. Right. So the the translation here is like basically opposite. Like it's a wrong it's wrong meaning, right? If you translate that into foral. No, no, this is not the, the condition. So you and it's accord with the condition. Here it says, do not pursue the condition, meaning things that yeah. are unconditioned, do not pursue in general. Yeah, yeah. What, what that means is that the current translation basically uh, uh, misinterpreted it. It's the opposite meaning of the Chinese. The current kind of, kind of translation is actually Sui Yuan. But then the Chinese is like, you're saying it should be pursue. No, no, the stress here no. is do not pursue the condition, meaning do not chase after, do not chase after worldly things, if you will. If I may uh, give you a quote that the old monk I really like, the old monk uh, give us, 
uh, uh, maybe last month or so, maybe a month before that, two months ago. He said he related this story he read in, uh, in his, one of his readings where Lehman Pang uh, came to Ma Zhu and asked uh, Ma Zhu, uh, how come the boat uh, uh, has, uh, uh, has uh, 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 how come water has no spine, has nothing solid, and yet it can support a boat? What is the principle behind it? And Ma Zhu says, uh, what did Ma Zhu say, O monk? Okay, so Ma Zhu's reply was that, in true emptiness, uh, there's nothing. How can there be any sort of spine or sinews? Meaning what? They're solving two different problems. Lehman Pang wants to solve physics problems. And Ma Zhu is said, what are you doing trying to solve physics problems? Are you some sort of physics, f physician? You're not. You're a monk. Okay? You should be looking at different kind of problems. It's funny because not long, uh, it's just like this week, I met a friend of mine, and he's a friend from high school, and he's, he's, uh, he's a fairly, fairly accomplished and, and near retirement. And he says, I've done the things I wanted to do in my life now. You know, I'm going to get so bored when I stop working. And so he says, he's so worried about the fact that we are ignoring the uh, climate change, and, and he's worried about his children. And no one's doing anything about climate change. And he says, and, and he's worried sick about it. You know, what, you know, what is he going to do? What's going to happen to my children? So, 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 uh, and so he looked at me and he says, uh, so what do you think? And I said, you know, I'm no good at climate change. That's not what I do. I recognize the fact, I admit that it's not my forte. I cannot deal with climate change. I can't solve that problem. Not why I'm here. What I'm doing is not to solve climate change. What I'm doing is to solve the question why people created climate change in the first place. So you, you worry about is a broken, is a broken thing. Now let's fix it. I'm worried about let's make sure your children and you stop breaking things. So there is nothing to fix. And those things, if and there are people out there like Tuan who excels at fixing things. I'm not. I don't. I can't fix TVs. I cannot. I cannot fix cars. And it's the first time he shut up. <laughs> He's always criticizing me. He says, you don't care, do you? You just yeah. I don't care because I'm a beggar. It's none of my business. But yesterday, you know, the other day is the first time where he says he had no comment. <laughs> <laughs> he, he, did, he could not disapprove of me. I said, hey, I'm no good. What, do you want, what else do you want me to say? I'm not skilled. It's not my, it's not my skill set. Okay? So here, Mo Chu Yu Yuan, he says here, do not pursue the conditioned. Do not pursue worldly things. Okay? Do not dwell in. Uh, do not dwell in the patience of emptiness. He's very precise. He says, if you do those things, you will not be able to develop wisdom. You will not be able to know happiness. You will not be happy. Doesn't matter 
how good you are doing those things. It doesn't matter how good you are doing and in pursuing the conditioned. It doesn't matter how good you are in emptiness, like a four-stage ahat, which is a very difficult thing to do, to achieve. Okay? You will not be happy. That's all he's saying. All right? Next. 19. Ichung Bing Hoi In Hoi Hoi Min Ran Tzu Jin Harboring the mind of oneness and equanimity, uh, chaos naturally extinguishes by itself. Gee, my translation is pretty good. Sorry. <laughs> I had to reinvent the wheel. Oh, good Lord. When I did this, I looked up the, these words a long time ago. Yeah, yeah it's okay. Do not pursue the condition, okay? Do not, do not dwell in the uh, patience and emptiness. Yes, go I, ahead. I think the confusion was coming from the third line, the previous, previous slide. Previous slide. The third line had the wrong translation. That's why I was talking about like it was translated into furrow, which is wrong. But the last line had the correct one. Yeah, it's not follow. It's pursue. Yeah, yeah. That, that's why I was trying to say the yeah. third line had the. Wrong. This is the original translation oh, okay. uh, from uh, from Master Shenhua's disciples. I'm sure they changed yeah. their mind. This is a long, long time ago. Oh. So it's not fair to say uh, to criticize them because it's like this is. Uh, Translation something like 40, 50 years ago when you had to first learn about Chan. Okay, so it's not fair to criticize them. I'm sure they would be mocking this translation now themselves. Okay, YouTube question, go ahead. Uh, Jane said on slide 99, she said the translation is off. Do not follow conditions. This translation is off. She suggests to change follow to pursue. Yeah. Very and then good. Daniel has a question. Yes. If I'm trying to accord with conditions around me, but feel that I need to work on cognitive and social skills, should I practice not seeking and develop those skills naturally and gradually? Or is it okay to be vigorous at applying efforts to improve such skills, even though I feel a bit greedy when wanting to improve so much in such things? Which Daniel are we talking about? I have so many Daniels. I'm so Jose sorry. Daniel. Huh? San Jose Daniel. San Jose Daniel. Okay. Uh, 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 that's a mouthful. You said so many things, I'm not sure I, 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 I could remember all of them. Okay. Um, right now, oh, baby steps, one step at a time. Okay. Uh, sit in, in full lotus for an hour. No pain. Okay. Never mind about emptiness, the condition, and so forth. That's, uh, that's uh, a little bit further down the road. All right. One thing at a time. Hmm? 19. Uh, go ahead, you two. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, why here is uh, uh, is uh, uh, harboring my oneness? It's kind of clumsy. Harboring my oneness, ping uh, huai, uh, uh, chung ping huai. Aspiring, <clears throat> excuse me, aspiring for oneness and equanimity. Please correct my own translation. Okay. 
aspiring for oneness and equanimity. Hmm. No, harboring is fine, I guess. Uh, maintaining a mind of oneness and equanimity. Never mind about harboring. Maintaining. All right? Okay. I have a problem with harboring. Maintaining is, is better. Hmm. Chaos, natural, extinguish. Can I drop by? Would you be offended if I drop by? Hmm? Yeah, it doesn't sound right with the by. Better to, it sounds better to drop it. Yeah, natural, extinguish itself. It's much stronger and much more uh, mysterious chaos extinguishes by itself. That's it. Wow. Not bad poem. Um, typical of the Chan people back then, at that at that era, where where he still. Uh, the third patriarch was trying to still trying to convey this concept of the mind of Chan. All right? So the poem is very accurate, is very good, but it doesn't help the students. That's why they struggled. That's why they really didn't have a lot of followers. Now it makes sense to me. Why is it from Bodhidharma to uh, Huika, the second patriarch, it's only one, understandable, because only needed one. You know? he, couldn't, he couldn't speak Chinese anyway. Who's, <laughs> who's going to translate for him? They couldn't understand uh, Sanskrit or Hindi, Hindu, whatever, Hindi and he couldn't speak Chinese, how the heck is he going to transfer? So he made him suffer. And you notice that? The language is pain and suffering. Okay? That transcends all the barriers of language. It's beautiful. The Chinese have this kind of thing that we don't have. You know, from the first Indian patriarch, second Chinese patriarch, my goodness, they have this special transmission here we don't have, that, that we didn't have between Master Shenhua, first Chinese patriarch, to the second American patriarch. There's no such transmission. None whatsoever. That's alarming. This is why the second patriarch got it, okay? Uh, Shengguang uh, or 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 Huika got it, and but from the second patriarch, the third patriarch, something went went missing. So that's why this guy, I'm sorry, the great master, third pa Chinese patriarch, Sheng Chan, got the Dharma, got the transmission, didn't know how to teach. That's why. That's why. He could not do much. It's not that the Chinese were not qualified. If you're a great teacher, it's always students will come. Not one, maybe two, maybe three, okay? And if you're a great teacher, you make it happen. You turn you turn steel into gold like in alchemy 
If the Taoists can do it, they can turn copper, steel into gold for 500 years. Why can't we? We don't have to do the same thing. But we can turn someone who's very stupid and turn you into a pretty wise person. The Buddha Dharma can do that. And then that's why, even though, again, and I'm, I'm uh, and, and I get all due respect to the third day chart and all the new Chinese people, okay? I don't mean any disrespect. From my personal interpretation, he could not teach. He couldn't explain people how to open wisdom like he did. He only told them that, you know, uh, that uh, this is wisdom is about. This poem shows this is what wisdom is supposed to be like. He didn't tell me, it's not fair, we didn't read the rest of the poems. But, uh, but it's not clear to me, and this is what one of my frustrations when I first started, is that when people told me about the enlightenment, about fourth day jahat, and first day jahat, and so forth, I said, how do I get there? I, I, it's nice, you force the Jaha, it's nice, she's, a, she's a enlightened. But how about me? What's in it for me? Aren't you supposed to tell me how to get there or help me get there? Please tell me how. Don't tell me how great and wonderful you are, how much you know. I don't, it doesn't do anything for me. Uh, yeah, kudos to you. You're a success. You are, you know the might, and you have the recognition, you're a rock star and everything, but tell me how, to, how, how can I be like you? Like the Buddha says, you can be a Buddha like myself. Why can't I be like you? Why can't you tell me how I can be like you? Why won't you? All right? So that to me, this is why the third page chart has few competent disciples, except for this Tao Xin here. Okay, shall we continue to investigate? Tao Xin. Da Yi Tao Xin. Da Yi Tao Xin. The surname was Su Ma. Okay, I was born in uh, Hubei. Hubei province, began studying Buddhism at the age of seven. Wow, that's a genius. Although his teacher was a man of impure moral conduct, Tao Xin uh, maintained Buddhist morality on his own without the teacher's knowledge for five or six years. Okay, outstanding individual. Okay, the environment cannot corrupt him. Okay, excellent. Good, good start. Okay, next, 103. As third patriarch was wandering in the mountains, a 14-year-old novice came and bowed. Uh, Pray, show me the way to deliverance. Uh, and so he said, Yin He said, Okay, uh, translation is debatable, but it's okay. We don't, we don't care, okay? Uh, and what's the instruction? Is that, uh, who, who, who put you in bond, bondage? It's no, it's no need forever, okay? Who put you in bondage? This is not the Chan language. The Chan, you don't need to add ever. Ever is for pussies. Mm. And so 104. Uh, so uh, no one put me in bondage. It has is no has. Then it's no if so. Oh God. 
This is so verbose. Then, why? Seek. Liberation. With these words, Tao Xin became enlightened. <laughs> hmm. Okay, so with these words, Tao Xin attained enlightenment at the age of 14. That is incredible. I don't know about you, why is 14 uh, 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 deliverance would not be possible, no matter what you do. <laughs> okay, so 105, he stayed at the third phase trap for nine years. He lived 72 years. For 60 years, he sat in Diana concentration without lying down to rest. All right, that's vigor. Although he seldom opened his eyes, he wasn't asleep. Okay, of course, he doesn't need to sleep that much. He was working at cultivation. Very good, 106. While well, master was cultivating, nearby city was besieged by bandits for more than 100 days, depriving its inhabitants of water and supplies. He left his mountain retreat to rescue the city dwellers. He taught them all to recite Ma Prasya Paramita after they, had, after they had recited for a while. For a time, the bandits fled for a while. Uh, the bandits fled and water reappeared in wells. Miracles. Okay, uh, so oh, do you call that? Uh, too bad Anthony's not here. Is that fighting or is it what? Huh? What do you call that? Is it fighting? Someone uh, text Anthony or email him and say, is it fighting this story? Jung Ying Sunim, is it fighting? And I do not accept yes or no. Red. <laughs> he got me again. <laughs> okay, I let you get away with it today. Uh, 107, when 4th Patriarch decided to build a temple, he looked and saw a broken head mountain surrounded by purple cloud of energy. Observing this auspicious sign, the master went there to dwell, uh, changing his, its uh, inauspicious name, broken head, to Double Peak Mountain. All right? Uh, 108, he propagated the Dharma for more than 40 years, transforming living beings greater in numbers. Okay, in the seventh year that uh, Chen Quan, Chen Quan reign of the Tang Dynasty, 643 AD, Emperor sent messengers to invite him to the palace to receive offerings, okay? This is, this is a Tang Dynasty's uh, uh, secret family recipe, okay? And they plant the blessings for the next generations, okay? Very clever. And, and, and uh, many, uh, Chinese, uh, many Chinese still do that, okay? To this day, it's a Chinese secret, okay? Uh, 109, great master refused the, the invitation saying, I'm too old and journey would be tiring. Eating on the road would be too difficult. I cannot undergo such hardship. And uh, after the messenger came back, see, did you say that lying or not? Huh? What happened to Anthony? Oh, this is the, the time I'd like to ask him. Is it lying or not? Is it fighting or not? Okay. The messenger came back, the emperor said, go back. Tell him that the emperor says, no matter how old he is or how difficult the journey, I have, 
the order, I have ordered him to come to the palace. Hmm. 110, uh, messenger relayed a message, relayed, not conveyed. Uh, insistence the fourth patriarch, who then said, no, I cannot go. I'm too old and ill. Take my head, you must, but my heart will not go. Mm -hmm. Is it fighting or not? And the messenger thought, there's no choice to go back without him. I cannot take his head to the emperor. This big shoe is very strange. He's hardly human. So 111, the messenger hurried back to the emperor. He says, your excellency, you may have the master's head, but his heart will not move. Uh, very well, go get his head, replied the emperor. So he put a knife in a box and gave it to the messenger, saying, slide off his head, but under no sub circumstances should you harm this bhikshu. Hmm, that's, that's, how can you slice his head off, but under no circumstances harm, not harm him? Huh? That's kind of a riddle, isn't it? Am I, am I missing something here? Jane, what am I missing? 112. The messenger returned to the fourth patriarch and said, Venerable Master, you refuse to come. The emperor has ordered me to cut off your head. Patriarch Tao Xin said, If in this life my head gets to see the emperor, that will be great glory. You may remove my head now. You may take my head now. Uh, and the messenger took out the knife, prepared to cut off his head. Ah, 113. Great master closed his eyes and waited calmly, but nothing happened. He shouted, hey, what are you waiting for? The emperor had no intention of harming you, messenger replied. He was just bluffing. Patriarch laughed out, laughed out, laughed aloud. Now you know that there is still a person in the world who does not fear death. One day, fourth patriarch said to his disciples, Dharma Master Yen Yi, uh, you should build me a stupa, I'm going to leave. 116, 115. In the second year of uh, Yung Hui, of the Tang Dynasty, 651 AD, on the 24th day of the ninth lunar month, patriarch Dao Xin, who had never been ill, sat down and entered Nirvana. His disciples locked his flesh body securely in a stone stupa. Okay, so he didn't show off his entire life, but he chose to show off after he died. Hmm? All right? 116, a year later, iron locks fell away and the stupa opened by itself. Looking in, everyone saw the body of the fourth patriarch still sitting in full lotus, appearing the same as when he was alive. The master's body had not decayed, the flesh had dried out. Fifth patriarch Hung Ren wrapped his body with lacquer cloth and gilded it. This body still exists today. So what happened is the fourth patriarch okay, decided uh, to show off. When he was alive, he quietly lived by himself, like a Hinayana person. But when he died, he showed up. And he left his flesh body behind and proved that Chan, uh, you practice Chan to the patriarch's level, you'll be able to attain you know, these feats, accomplish these feats that are incredible. You die and your body will not decay. Okay? And, uh, and uh, uh, the fifth patriarch, uh, the fifth patriarch uh, 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 revered and wrapped in lacquer cloth, cloth and gilded. Okay? Where is it today? Anyone knows? That's a... Uh, that's, uh, so his accomplishment to Buddhism seems to be that he did this, uh, this, um, 
uh, this uh, uh, this uh, body here. He left his body here, okay, and chose the fifth way chart, okay. And the fifth way chart, that's when the fifth way chart started to have a lot more disciples. Hmm. So between the second, third, and the fourth, there weren't many disciples at all. Okay? Uh, but it's not clear what happened between the fourth and the fifth. Because the fifth way chart started having a lot of followers. Uh, 118. Mm. A monk asked Master Hung Ren, why don't we study the way of awakening in the cities where there are many people instead of at places deep in the mountains? Hung Ren replied, the timbers needed to make a great building originally came from secluded mountain valleys. They can't be grown where many people are congregated. All right. 119. Since they are far from crowds of people, they can't be chopped down or harmed by axes and are able to grow into great trees, which later can be used to maintain central beams and pillars. So, in studying teaching, one should find refuge for spirit, in remote mountain valleys, mountain or valleys escaping far from troubles of the dusty world. Okay, uh, fine. One twenty. People should nourish their nature in deep mountains, keeping away from world affairs for a long time. When not always confronting common affairs mind will naturally become at ease. Studying Chan in this way is like planting a tree, which result that later, with result that later, uh, it can bear fruit. 121. During this era, the great teacher Hong Ren only sat peacefully in upright position and did not compile writings. He taught Chan orally to his personal disciples, quietly passing on teaching to many others. All right? 122. The fifth Bay chart also lived during the Tang Dynasty. His family was Zhou, upper class. His family and father abandoned the family, but Hung Rang displayed exemplary filial duty in supporting his mother. He lived in Huang Mei County near Double Peak Mountain. When he was a seven, he went to the temple on the mountain to attend upon the fourth patriarch. Okay, excellent. Uh, uh, according to the transmission of the Lamb record, in a previous life, uh, he was. Uh, a pine tree planter, he met Dao Xin and asked to become disciples, to become his disciple. Dao Xin replied, you are too old, come to next life to receive great dharma if you are sincere. Well, I'm now on slide number 25. The old man went to the river, saw a girl washing clothes and said, Miss, may I sit, may I stay overnight at your home? This is a prior life. Uh, 126, she replied, at home, only my father can make such decision, so you have to ask him. 127, the old man says, you must first agree to my request before I dare go ask him. Seeing that it's getting dark, she agreed, after which the old man left. 128, a few days later, she's suddenly pregnant. Because she was unmarried, the parents threw her out. With nowhere to go, she had to beg for food at a neighboring village. Wow. 129. After the child was born, the woman saw it was an inauspicious, inauspicious omen, not inauspicious, inauspicious omen, so threw the child into the river. But the child went against the flow surfaced and 
very with, uh, and has a very healthy complexion. It's just like a movie here. At one thirty, she could only take the child and raise him. Okay, it's the mother. Okay, tried to drown him, but uh, he, yeah, she could not. So she reared him. And the child has no dad. Village would call the child no surname child. The child grew up very adorned in appearance. 132. A worthy sage saw him and said, short by seven Buddhas hallmarks. One thirty three. One day the child met the fourth patriarch. Seeing the child's extraordinary appearance, the patriarch asked, What is your family name? The child replied, Have surname, but no common but not common kind. The fourth patriarch uh, on slide one thirty four. What is it? A child said, Buddha nature. The same sound as a surname, Sing, in Chinese. Okay? There's some Sing. It says, Shi Fo Sing. Okay? So he's playing, uh, he does a word play in Chinese. Yes? Okay? Uh, 135. And the fourth way, Chuck continued pressing him. You really have no surname? Nature is empty, that's why there is none. A child knows about empty nature already. It's kind of a strange child. Seeing a child as a worthy Dharma vessel, the patriarch followed the child home. 137, the patriarch then proposed his mom to allow the child to leave the home life. The mom was just too happy to get rid of him. She agreed immediately. That's just my personal commentary. Mm. Mommy dearest. And 138, the child followed the patriarch back to the temple, began the pure life. Ah, so he went to the temple and lived with the fourth patriarch as a child, since his childhood. Okay? 139, at that time the boy was only seven years old, 13 years old. At the age of 13, he shaved his head and was named one forty, he worked during the day, sat in meditation at night, and typically spoke few words, but uh, and he uh, he he mastered he mastered master Tao Xin's Chan Dharma. One forty one. In six fifty one AD, the fourth patriarch conferred the patriarch patriarchy to him. He thus became the fifth patriarch. We don't know how old he was back then. Okay, we can calculate and it doesn't matter anyway. We forget next week. I'll forget next week. Same year the fourth patriarch entered extinction. Okay? On 43, because he did not give rise to discrimination, he never spoke of right or wrong. And when fellow bhikshus bullied him, he never fought back. His calm, quiet manner, demeanor, not manner, indicated that he had realized a state of peace. Even after working hard all day, master didn't rest. Instead of sleeping, he sat in meditation. 144. Master Hongren lived in the woods of uh, Ping Mao, Ping Mao Mountain, slightly east of Double Peak Mountain. So his teaching is called the East Mountain Dharma. Ah, okay. Hongren continued Tao Xin's tradition of establishing monastic Chan communities in which Monks 
work in fields and develop practical and administrative skills as well as engaging in meditation practice. So, so they started having more disciples, so they had to organize, okay? And uh, so from the fourth to the fifth, uh, the fifth continue with that tradition. Okay, excellent. Uh, 145. Chan practice now extended beyond meditation to all aspects of daily life. All right, that's supposed to be. Uh, his, his disciples were not all painted with the same brush. Among them are students of Vinaya, translators, and even devotees of Pure Land, which was not at all surprising, is not surprising, and also of Lotus Sutra. Okay, so now you see a patriarch who understands Mahayana, not just someone who teaches Chan or, uh, or uh, Pure Land alone. He taught the complete. Uh, all, uh, all of Mahayana, if you will, Vinaya, uh, lectures on sutras, and so forth. Not sure about the tantras. 145. Uh, 146. Uh, many students came. It expanded the eastern side of the mountain, okay, the East Mountain teachings. Okay, were seen as authentic Chan Buddhist teachings promoted by Master Hung Ren's principal students, Sheng Xiu, who became most prominent Buddhist monk at his time. Ah, so Sheng Xiu is, uh, has great contributions, okay? meaning that he had a lot, of, a lot of followers, and he's a good teacher. He convinced all these people to practice the Chan Dharma door. That's not an easy thing to do. Okay, there's a lot of sacrifices, meaning that because his Sheng Xiu was not enlightened, didn't have any real skills except his knowledge, so he had to hustle to, uh, to get support for his work. You can tell that, okay? If you don't have any skills, you have to sell yourself. Just life. A compilation of his teachings, Xiu Xin Yao Lun, Treatise on the Essential Cultivating the Mind, is the earliest collection of teachings of Chan Master. So his teaching meaning Hong Ren, right? Okay, fine. Hmm. 147. The great master taught, let's see, this is, uh, let's see what he teaches. Okay, I'm going to do Chinese. Fu Xiu Dao Zhu Ben Ti, Xu Xu, Xing Xin Ben Lai, Jing Jin, Jing, Bu Sheng Bu Mie, Wu You Fen Bie. Okay, so the, the master taught uh, cultivators uh, of the way uh, must know uh, the fundamental. Uh, substance, body, yeah. cultivators of the way must recognize the fundamental substance. body and mind, and that the body and mind were uh, originally pure. Okay, no problem. Uh, not produced, not extinct, all right? Uh, devoid of discrimination. Fine, okay? The sound teachings. 148, uh, next he, he continued. The perfected self-nature and pure mind are fundamentally 
the teacher. Chữ sư bẩn sư. Rẩn sân niên sư phan chư phổ. Better than um, mindful of the Buddha's ten directions. Better than reciting the names of Buddha in ten directions. Okay? Uh, because they should be reciting. Uh, better than to recite the names of Buddha in ten directions. He's talking about Chan Dhammador versus, versus reciting the Buddha's name, Dhammador. Yeah. Okay, remember, he, he, under him, he taught a lot of different Dhammadors. Excellent. 149. The great master uh, stressed, if you recognize this mind, maintain it. So, not maintain. So, is to protect it. Uh, then you will arrive at the other shore. Okay? Okay. Oh, Shu Xinja. Yeah, if you recognize this mind and protect it, then you will uh, arrive at the other shore. Mi uh, Sincha, okay. If you are confused about it, you will abandon it and thus fall to the three paths. You You know, you want to wish to know the essential Dharma. Guarding the mind is foremost. That's fine. Okay, um, it's still, it's still, it's still a lot of theory. Okay, compare this, for example, to Master Shinoa's Dharma. You compare this instructions, compare it to Master Shinoa's Dharma when he teaches Chan. We don't have to be there, we just read the instructions. How do you chant? Cross your legs. Sit in full lotus. Well, this master here still talks about theory. That's what happens. When monks don't understand, don't know how to do it, they talk theory, they quote scriptures. One fifty. Those who can guard the mind, mm. that is the foundation. Mm. Of nirvana, mm. the essential door to entering the way, the teaching, the tell division of sutras. Uh, Sanchu Tufo Tutu. That is the patriarchs of the Buddhas of the three periods of time. Okay? That is, that is, okay? It is missing, that is. That is the patriarchs. All right, 151. (sighs) 
。若有一人不守真心，得成佛才无有虚受。No, it's not such、so、a thing. It says, if there is a person who does not guard his true mind and yet、uh, accomplish Buddhahood,、uh, that's not possible. The translation is wrong. Everyone is in samadhi except for the girls. All right, continue. One fifty-two. Wan Chi saw a horde of bandits besieging a nearby city. The fifth patriarch went down Bing Mao. Mountain towards the city. When the bandits saw him, they were terrified because they saw not not only the patriarch did not see a patriarch, a person. Where am I? Question from Kong. Go ahead. Unmute yourself, Kong. Previous slide. Previous slides. One fifty-two. Yes. I can I can I see? So go further back. Uh, fifty-one, please. Fifty-one. One fifty-one. Yes. Yes, ma'am. So. So I have a question. The tr- like、uh, there are always. The usage of the word "true mind"、uh, is the same as the、uh, uh, Buddha nature. Is the true mind the same as Buddha nature? Yes, that's another word, another aspect of the Buddha nature. Thank, thank you. Okay, so.、Uh, A person who does not, who does not guard his true mind, and yet can accomplish Buddhahood, fixes xianjie. Okay, next. Go ahead,、uh, you two. Master, we're falling asleep. <laughs> I'm sorry. Who's falling asleep? We're all falling asleep. And what's wrong with that? That's going to happen. My only excuse is it's going to happen during the Chan Chi. Some of you will stay awake. And most of you fall asleep anyway, so it's okay. You're okay, so am I. <sighs> so serious. Go ahead, Kong. Since everybody is falling asleep, can I ask a question? <laughs> well,、uh, I have this question. Uh, in the、uh, in the sutras,、uh, or you mentioned in the Dharma talks, there's a phrase. Just just, just、uh, dr- lower the volume a little bit so that they can sleep in peace. <laughs> <laughs> okay, go ahead. Okay, the drawing near good knowing advisor. The phrase. Um, uh, is that a a a a one of the Dharma doors as well? Is that what? Louder. Is it one of many dharma doors? The people were laughing. Can you repeat, please? <laughs> Drawing near good knowing advisor. Is this one of many good good? I mean, dharma doors. Is it? Is it like one of the dharma doors? Drawing near advisor. Of what? Like, people say. Uh, do you do hato or do you do 
vipassana? Do you do reciting the Buddha's name? You know, there are many different ways. Uh, so is drawing good, near good knowing advisor, is this one of the doors? What does it have to do with uh, Venbo Hongren? Uh, is this a not... question out from the blues because they're all sleeping, so it's safe to ask this question? I don't I... get the, the uh, connotations and the relationship of this question versus the five patriarchs we learned so far. I'm the one who's staying awake, okay? I had this question earlier, but I forget why, why I had this question. It was earlier, like two hours ago. Uh, two, hours ago. Um, two hours ago. Two hours ago, we like, were eating lunch. I no, don't I mean know. one hour and a half ago when we just started the lecture. I, I forget what slide remind me of this question. I see, okay. Fair enough, okay. You need to help me understand your motivation and, and the you know, situate the situation, okay? Situate the situation. That sounds good. Uh, is that a one on Dharma doors? Um, I don't know about the Chinese anymore, okay? Uh, I know, for example, uh, the question is about should you uh, draw near a good new advisor, okay? Uh, I know, for example, the Vietnamese don't do that. Yes? They don't do that. They don't have this tradition of seeking good no advisor and draw near them. All monk. Agree or disagree? Tôi con không có biết nhiều gì bên đạo Phật Việt Nam nhưng mà nó thấy nhiều cái dòng đó. Thì cái ông tổ truyền cho cái người kế người kế thì trong cái dòng đó thôi, họ theo cái pháp đó họ đi thôi. No, I'm not talking about a general umbrella organization. I'm talking about in the Chinese Chan, they, they, uh, they advocate that you should find a good new advisor and be near him. It's a very simple concept of practicing Chan. Look for a good new advisor and be near. Ở bên này thì con cũng biết là thí dụ như vị hòa thượng nào nổi tiếng thì người ta cũng tò tìm đó ta học thôi. Nhưng mà cái người đó thì có chứng được hay không thì chưa chưa có biết nhưng mà trong cái thời đó thì người ta theo cái gì nổi tiếng đó người ta học. When you do draw near good advisor there's an assumption that um, if you're not making progress you move on to the next good new advisor. That's implied. You don't just go be a near a famous teacher. You go seek instructions from a teacher, and if it works for you, you stick around. If it doesn't work for you, you move on. It's perfectly acceptable in a child world. No one will stop you from, from going to the next one. No one would dare as a Chinese child tradition. So meaning that the teacher has to deliver. Okay? It's very cutthroat. They don't deliver, it doesn't work for them, move on. It's, it's totally legal, totally acceptable. I don't see that tradition in the Vietnamese that when during my time at least. I don't see people do that. I don't see uh, the Koreans do that. Do Koreans do that? I didn't ask you, but you can, you can answer. <laughs> you do? I don't think so. You went to different monasteries to do your three-month retreat, yes? yes? But you were, you are necessarily looking for a good new advisor. That's a big difference. You go and do a retreat. 
it's not the same as, as looking for instructions from a good known advisor. You do a retreat, you sit on, on you know, you sit there for three months. No instructions. It's a big difference. Go ahead, conk. Actually, people told me they have the tradition of seeking good knowing advisors. Uh, many sunnims and the meditators in Buddhist tradition here, they go to many different teachers to ask for help. But then uh, it seems like they are failing to get the answers they need or it's not clear. Uh, that's, that's what I heard from people. So they, they do have that tradition here. They so they do to... have in Korea the, the tradition. You agree with that? Hey, Chung In, do you agree? You agree, Master. Okay. Uh, all right, so you have this tradition. But uh, uh, I don't know how to say it without offending you, so I'm not going to say it. Okay, uh, let's continue. Uh, was there, did I answer a question, some kind of question? Oh yeah, from Kong. So good, you know, seek good no advisor. Okay, so the assumption there in that seeing good no advisor is that you suppose the good no advisor is supposed to deliver, supposed to produce results. Okay, there's also the assumption that the student must be worthy to be taught. And this is the things, this particular detail here, that you must be worthy to be taught, is lost in that model, in that teaching. What did you do to deserve to be taught? Don't just say, you know, like the Westerners, I'm here, teach me. How much does it cost? Here's the tuition and fees. You've got to teach me. Okay? It uh, doesn't work like that. Okay? Even when you go to a great university, these great teachers, uh, you, you, you don't just simply because you paid for the tuition and fees, you enroll in the class, the teacher must teach you, okay? The teaching here we're talking about is the personal insights of a teacher that is specially bestowed upon you, not just a regular instruction in class. It's a personal instruction. Why? Because the teacher, I'm talking about this, this universities or in the world, in the world, world stage, where the teacher realizes that you are worthy to be taught and that you deserve help in order for you to contribute to your field of expertise. It's not inherent right at all. You're not entitled to it. You earned it for whatever you did. You earned it. You earned it. That's why the teacher says, I tell you what, I would like you to get, do some research under me. Okay? We're going to go after this research project here. We're going to advance this field of, you, you're going to, we're going to do a new project, do this research here to advance knowledge in our field. Okay, so similarly, in the China world, you seek a good no advisor and you go there and you meet a good no advisor, you have to do something in order to be entitled to be taught. It's not automatic. All right? No one will force you to do anything special. 
So master the Tao Xin, the fourth page chart and fifth page chart, they have this huge gathering, a big temple, uh, people who, who studied under them. They were under no pressure, okay? They, uh, they, they work in the field, they help out in the, in the temple. I assure you, there's no expectation for them to be enlightened or they must uh, 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 work two hours a day or, or uh, uh, bring in so much money and so forth. There's no, absolutely no expectations at all. And that's the nature of the relationship. Zero expectations. And each individual will decide, have to decide for himself or herself, what am I going to do to deserve to be taught? That's all. Uh, Wei Mount. Uh, 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 to, to get the teaching. I don't know. Well, I told you. Then you have to stand in line. There's a long line. If I told everyone, here's what you need to do. And guess what? By the time you hear it, there's a bit of hundred people ahead of you already. Do you understand? So it's a fair question, okay? And I, and I have no problem with the question, but this kind of question, I cannot give you an answer in public or private. All right? It's something that you have to decide for yourself as a person. Why should I be taught? I give you a clue. Why should you be taught? You should be taught because you be useful as the example I, I gave you earlier about a, in the real world, in academia, you taught, you're chosen to be taught, you're chosen to, uh, to be, be study under a certain famous professor, good professors, because uh, they think you're able, you'll be able to advance, uh, to make significant contributions to the field. They don't waste the time or efforts on someone who's, uh, who's, uh, uh, who, who's not going to be able to contribute or willing to contribute. Okay? More specifically, in our world, it's not so much about contribution. I'm not sure about what contributions are because I'm not a good teacher. But... Uh, I looked at uh, Master Shenhua, for example. He taught his disciples because they were able to help a lot of people after they taught. So they taught in order for Master Shenhua, his, his way to extend his legs, his arms through them. Because he couldn't do everything himself. And that's, for, that's why he had a bunch of very competent and very distinguished and eminent, uh, in my mind, 
monks and nuns and lay people, okay, outstanding people. Because he saw them that way. He saw that these people will contribute. All right? So, let me speak in a, in a way, in a language you understand. If you don't have such aspirations, such inclinations, you will, such tendencies, then you can ask until you're blue in the face, like I did. To match a Shinhua disciple, I go into the, to every one of them. He said, hey, I know my Shinhua told you to, to train me, right? How about teaching me? And none of them really taught me, except for one guy. And he taught me because he's mouthing off. He says, you guys don't know anything. When I was there, this is what Master Yohan did. I said, oh, he did that? So what I learned is second hand. Low life, what can you expect? All right. Uh, 153, so the thieves ran away because the she's broken because they saw, they saw, uh, they saw a, a lot of these Vajra king bodhisattvas, you know, very menacing, wielding weapons, okay? Uh, and that came about because if you're constantly mindful and strong in mantra, the 84,000 Vajra store bodhisattva will protect you from all danger. Okay, yeah. So uh, that's good to know. Okay, time is up. The next time we continue from slide one fifty four. Thank you, everyone. <laughs>